start something and we have to finish it. So we are at the finishing stage. Third week, Thursday. So the big boy, 850, done his job. We finished up everything up to 3,500 grit. And now this is gonna go back to shop. Those logistics, uh, you know, big part of this project as well. So I'm taking this back and uh, all the fun stuff's happening inside though. So uh, let, let's, uh, I'm gonna, I have so much to tell you guys because the polishing process that that's happening right now, it's so important, so crucial and so beneficial. So yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you with that. Polishing. Polishing the final stage of polishing um, steps. So that is called uh, vetrification. And then I, I mentioned that word earlier in my videos. I love this uh, method, vetrification. So what vetrification uh, does to terrazzo, basically what it does, it makes it like glass-like. Exactly, you know, if you can imagine something becomes like a glass. So that's what we're doing to this floor right now. Uh, we are using special uh, pads and special agent that creates uh, such a friction, such a friction that the resistance between terrazzo and then uh, polishing pad becomes so uh, powerful and so, uh, um, you know, the resistance there and the friction there that stone has nothing else to do but to get polished. And that's what's happening to it right now. Also, there's another good reason why we want to do vetrification because besides the fact that I'm making it glass-like, I also increasing the density of terrazzo. This, this agent has ability to increase the density. So now wear and tear won't happen as easy because I'm making it like, if I have to take, you, density measures by Mohs scale from one to 10, right? So right now, Let's say before vetrification, if it stands somewhere at four, after vetrification, it stands somewhere at seven or eight. You know, I'm just roughly saying that. Also very important to show you something else. Now, this called the gloss meter. So this is just explains itself, right? The gloss meter, it measures the glossiness, it measures the reflection of the surface. So now, this is quite a good, uh, good uh, gadget. If I have to take right now and measure this before vetrification, let's say pick up the any, any terrazzo, let's say right here, it's nice and clean, it's nice and polished, you can see the reflection, and then let's clean them up nicely, make sure there is no dust or any, any haze, you know, and let's place it right here. See, it measures 27.8. You know, it varies, it goes, you know, 24, 28, 29, you know, etc. Now, we just did the vetrification on that area and let's let's do what happens to when we vetrify something. So let's say let's pick up the best area right, right here. Because I when I'm looking at it from the angle, it looks good. So what I'm gonna do, clean this up and place this 
gadget on top of it. So now we measure 76, 82, 79, 78, 80. So roughly it's an 80, 80 on a gloss meter, right? Now, that's very good. That's extremely good when it comes to terrazzo. Because terrazzo, remember, the terrazzo is not, it's not the granite or it's not the marble. It's not the solid stone. It's a combination of stone aggregates and metrics. So you got a lot of variation of the density. If you get the AD out of terrazzo, it's the same thing. It translates into on marble on 100 or in granite on 100. So I'm very happy with it. So this is, this is a good indication of the results, like how good the polish it's, it's happening to the, um, this terrazzo. So we're gonna keep measuring and we wanna make sure that everywhere else is gonna be up to 80 and then I'll be happy. So this is, this is what's happening right now. Very happy with the result. It's just consistent polish everywhere. So you have to kind of see this is good. Now you multiply this everywhere, everywhere. Same technique. And when you have resistance, like, you know, it just struggles. You know, like how machine sometimes does this. Yeah, you want that. That's good. So that's way it polishes. You know what I mean? So keep doing. Keep doing what you do. Okay, so. Friday, last week of the Real to Square Theater, it's going amazing. So polishing and wetrifying the whole area with uh, with uh, five five buffers. Now the buffer sounds very soft. You know what's a buffer, right? But the, the amount of resistance we are getting right now from the polishing process, it takes a lot of muscle. Those guys are really really have to you know, be, be on top of the thing. So, yeah, follow me. So this area is pretty much been polished, but we're gonna go back. So once we do it one, one time, then we come back and do it again. We got today and we got tomorrow to polish this up, retrify this up to make this floor extremely durable and glass-like. And when I'm saying glass, that's what I'm talking about. Exactly like a glass. So you remember guys what it is, right? The glass mirror. That's a quite a tool right here. So let's say, you know, the maximum I can get out of this looks like the, the most I can get out of this uh, terrazzo is 80. 83, 84, which is extremely good, extremely nice. So for example, this area, right? 75, 73, probably a little dusty. Yeah, I was right. A little dusty. 77, 78, 55. So it needs more. It needs a little more. So that's why we're coming back to get to the 80, 80. Like some areas I'm sure is already, see 82, take a look. 82, 83, that's what we're looking for. But we're looking for everywhere. Now what happens when we're polishing this, terrazzo takes time to get harder. It's a reaction, right? It's a lot of calcium being added into the terrazzo. So it takes certain time to get hard, much harder. And then when you come back, it's ready to take the better sheen. So right now, uh, 11.37 a.m. We got another 
six hours to keep doing what we're doing. And we got another tomorrow, Saturday, to finish up, finalize everything, all the edge work, and then seal it. congratulate you uh, for accomplishing such a special project here. First of all, I want to thank you individually, each of you. You guys worked so hard. You were so loyal to work, so loyal to company, so loyal to me. And I really appreciate everything you guys done. Uh, I, I felt that you guys were as excited as I am. And that without the excitement, you cannot do this. And each of you need to consider yourself as an artist now. From this point, we will be baptized as, as an artist of the terrazzo, and you all should be very proud of it, okay? Each of you, you know. Some of you just started doing this work, and then you should consider yourself lucky to be part of this project, to be honest with you, because Javier has been here for so many years, but you know, like, we, can, we, can, we can't find any in, my, in our you know, resume, any project that could possibly be as significant as this one. Just because how beautiful the building is and, you know, the, the excitement was like 
This floor, we always forget when we start this project, we always forget how it looked. Right, you know, like just, just you know, the, how how we are. Like you get overwhelmed with everything, but we forget how it was. This this terrazzo was dead. It was dead for many many years. And then the funny part, this terrazzo never been as good as you know as it is right now throughout its existence. It never originally never meant to be polished by diamonds, and we are the first ones who brought that culture into this uh, terrazzo. Right now we created the something new standard for this building that this floor never looked uh, not even close. Even first day when it was installed never not even close to be in this type of floor. Now it looks like mirror, looks like glass. So thank you guys. Really appreciate it. I told you that you know after we accomplish this job we're gonna do Hinkali party celebrate together and with a nice good food and good company and good beer and everything so thank you guys